Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Build It with Smith. Uh, I'm your host, Smith, and playing SimCity Build It. Uh, this is episode four of uh, the SimCity... Did I just say SimCity Build It? I'm playing SimCity, the PC version. So this is episode four. Uh, last time, I kind of had some reservations and restructured a couple of things in, in my town here. Uh, I had only gotten this far as far as, you know, stuff... I had some apartments and things like that going on, and then I thought to myself, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be mining uh, coal, and here's the coal map. You can see that all the coal is there, so it wouldn't really work out too well for me to build houses on top of there, so I've moved the residential houses down to this area. Uh, now, they're still having trouble with fires and stuff like that. Uh, I did this off camera, by the way. I created a road to come down here. Uh, I think the road last time, last episode, it stopped there. I created it to go right here. And so now I, uh, well, I have, I have this. So uh, that's where we're at. Now, what I was going to do, next thing I was going to do, is uh, put that town hall somewhere. And... I'm having trouble figuring out what I want to, how I want to divide this area here up. Now, I guess I should go ahead and just kind of bite the bullet here, make individual roads, maybe, or something like that. Uh, let's see, right about. This, you got to determine like how you're going to divide up these roads. Am I going to continue with this curvature here, or am I just going to go for some straight lines and divide this up really nicely? Uh, let me think. I'm trying to think, picture if I was in this city, what what I would want, what I would have. I mean, I may just I may just let this rock. But actually, no, that doesn't make any sense because that's a long ways to go. So I do need to go ahead and put a straight road or something of the sort. Maybe I'll go ahead and make it curve just, just for the sake of things. I might make it curve here. Uh, might make two, two roads, maybe this one here. Have them curve, see how that will work. Oh. And then we'll have one here. Hopefully this is a good idea. If not, it'll be learning for next time. So All right, so we've got that. That may have been a mistake. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Three three main roads to divide this up. I guess that's okay. I can take one of these roads and curve it on over out of here and connect it with this area over here. Well, that doesn't even connect to there. What's the deal? What is the deal? Does this connect or not? Mm. I just want to connect. Okay. It appears that I built that road and I didn't connect it properly. So. Now I gotta delete it and start over again. This time, let's make sure it connects. Take this road here. It could be the dirt road, actually. We're gonna upgrade it anyway. And all we wanna do is just curve this over. And that's gonna make us all happy. All right, so. First thing I want to see is, did I create enough room for the, uh, 
for what I want what I want to put here it's like not quite uh, okay so if I put the city hall here right here that would be the perfect place for it we're gonna go ahead and do that and all that stuff will probably just get rid of it or something but anyway it makes a lot of people happy so let's add now some more residential uh, houses let's go ahead and button up the rest of these areas lots of happy people now hopefully people start giving our town another try move back in I uh, know I know I got to get some water going and I probably need to put a fire station up there before a fire breaks out. All right, so that's that area there. That's pretty much how it's going to look. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to have this road kind of run. Let's see, where can we go with that road? Maybe like over here somewhere and then this road will curve around and cut that off or something. Uh, that's just kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. But, uh, all right, so everything looks okay there. Let's speed it up a little bit, and there seems to be some rubble in our area. There's two abandoned buildings. What's the deal, guys? Abandoned building because of a fire. Because of a fire. Now, I can put the fire station now. Let's see, we've got a fire station. And good place to place that would probably be you place it right over here somewhere like that uh, seems to cover this whole area you see everywhere where the, where, the uh, where it's highlighted green that's what it's covering see I could put it here also that would destroy a couple of buildings there but let's see if I put it What I might do, what I might also want to do, is go ahead and add some more zones here. Probably not right here. Yeah, that seems dangerous. Probably just stop it right there. I think, I think let's see. Uh, probably not right there either. Just along this path here. Just that right there. Okay. Uh, never drop the fire station. Let me drop the fire station now. Figure out a good place to put that. I could put it here. That seems to cover everything. Right there, uh, kind of appears unsafe, but it looks like it covers everything. So we'll place that there. And so now that's gonna really help out with these fires. Let's zoom in to the fire station. And it's a small one. We've got one fire truck. Uh, some expenses there. Uh, let's look at these things. So we could put a fire uh, fire station flagpole for 100 simoleons at no cost. I guess we can do that. Let's put that there. And we've got the uh, fire trucks are dispatched twice as fast. Um. I don't even know that we need that, actually. Yeah, I don't think that we have too many fires breaking out now. I think that one fire truck can cover it. Now, uh, last time we did start mining some coal. It says it's closed and they need water. That's right. Let me do something about that. So we've got a hydro pumping station. We'll get to this. This futurizes your cities and, and, and stuff. So we'll get to that later. Right now, uh, we're, we're just gonna build a regular water tower. Now, let's look at the pollution here. All the, all of this seems okay. Looks like there's some pollution here, it looks like. That must have been, that looks like pollution to me. That must have been when we had, uh, the past episodes we had a road coming down here and we had actually put some, uh, 
we had actually put some uh, uh, some uh, industrial houses there. Okay, let's see where the best place is to put this. This this shows me on the water map where the best place is. I think that we will put it right here. This is going to provide water to the city. So now all these folks, the problem should go away here pretty pretty quickly. And that's what it looks like is happening. So they should be getting water here pretty soon. Oh, we have a problem. What is happening with the zones? Worker shortage. Some buildings do not have enough workers to operate. Hmm. I figured that would happen. So we're going to have to zone some more residential zones. Upset we had no water, so we moved out. Okay. All right. So, oh, we have several abandoned buildings. Why do we have so many abandoned buildings? Oh, why? Because of water? Everybody abandoned ship because of no water? Well, I guess we can bulldoze these old places, get some new people to move in. Oh, a lot of people moved out. Is that all of them? Oh, there's still three more. All right, that should be all of them. Now, all of these will magically grow back because I have them zoned, and uh, we're making some money here. 4200 an hour. Now, some of the happiness is it's going down. Let's see if how we can make the happiness go back up. So the low income wealth, uh, too many injuries, we're moving. All right, so the next thing we gotta do is with the clinics. Now, I placed the fire station up here because that's where the fires mainly occur around the industrial zones. People get sick over here. So I wanna place this um, up here somewhere. See, maybe even here. Will this cover the whole area? Uh, I think it will. Maybe. Let's see. I want to make sure before I do this that this isn't going to get in the way for when I need to upgrade. Uh, I guess I can't upgrade right now. So just in case we need to move this clinic, we'll do that. But uh, right now we'll go ahead and place it. Where should I place it? Here? Maybe here? Or over here next to the water tower. Maybe next to the water tower. I want it to cover as much as possible. All right, so more money is going out the door now than ever before because I decided to service my people here with the fire station and the clinic. So uh, I guess we still need to... Oh, it turns red again. What is wrong? Worker shortage. Oh, right. We never did anything about that. So, oh, you just watching. Oh. So, I think I'll continue to move this road along the way because this is going to kind of be maybe the main residential road. So, what can I do with this? I just kind of freestyle here what I think it should look like. And we'll continue with the same uh, kind of straight line structure here for these crossroads.
And then we're just going to bring in some more people. What we should probably do is see uh, this is always kind of a challenge here all right so we just curve that road around we'll zoom out here in a second to see how that looks see if that works with what I have envisioned and looks like there we're having some major traffic issues as I'm looking at this we'll get to that later but oh that may just mean that we need to upgrade. Now see what I'm saying? As soon as I start servicing these people, I gave them fire stations. I gave them clinics. Now they want police stations. Then they want education. This and that. It just goes on and on and on. And this dollar amount goes down to zero. So let's see with the roads here. Do I need to upgrade something? Let's see if y'all are ready to upgrade up out of your little... Uh, you know, trailer parks. No, not yet. They're not ready to do that yet. Uh, but they want me to move some more residences in here. So we'll do that. We will... Oops. We will add more in here just for the sake of that. So there's a little bit more zones. Now, um, what we want to do here, if we go to the parks, uh, we've got several categories for parks. And you got the one with the one simoleon sign, two, and three. Now what these do is they determine uh, the uh, whether you have low income, mid income, or high income uh, levels there. So I've got for the basic people here, these guys here, uh, they don't have any parks, so I suppose I can give them some parks, might make them happy. We'll give them a barbecue pavilion. And where should I put that? Uh, let's put the barbecue pavilion. Should I put it like now, nah, not right across the street? That's kind of uh, I don't want to come into their houses here and put it there. Uh, hmm. It's interesting. Where should I put this? Right outside? Right, like right here? Right on the corner? Or should it actually go in here? It would just destroy some potential houses if I put it there, though. Can I place it here? Maybe I can place it here. Barbecue Pavilion. Right there. All right. So that makes all those people happy. So that's kind of, that's what that's going to be about. Let's see. Let's go to the number the two here. So they've got uh, an athletic center. They've got a public tennis court. That's, that's pretty good. Basketball court. Let's look at the public tennis court. Now, so this uh, tells you how many visitors come. It's only going to take $40 out of our deal, but hey, it'll make some people happy. So let's put this public tennis court. Where can we put this? Um, and see, this is these are all the people that are going to be happy about that. Let's put a couple of these types of things right up in here. Probably, maybe right here. And this is going to bring up the wealth for everyone. So let's say that we put it right there, right at the edge. And what was that? That was a tennis court. What else do they think that they could use here? A medium skate park. Skating park. Uh, 
a soccer field, not a soccer field yet, maybe a basketball court. Okay, so let's put that basketball court right about here. And so now we've kind of covered this area here. You should start seeing a little bit better houses looking a little bit better, maybe. And then let's go to the nature here. Because for these folks here, we want to do something. Okay, we've got a wavy park. It raises the land value. Oh, it's a small thing, actually. Let's see, I was hoping to get something a little bit larger. How about that one? All right, and where can I put that? Maybe right here. Or maybe right here. Right at the edge. Hmm. Yeah, probably right here. So all these parks that I put in, hopefully they're starting to, and they're still annoyed that they didn't have water. So now, how about the poor sewage? Where should I put that? I think, I think I'll have this little area right here be for that type of stuff, just to get it all out of the way, <clears throat> put it in a corner somewhere, make a little, curvy road maybe that just kind of takes care of all that stuff. Let's try it again. Wow, that looks ugly. Uh, hmm. I'd like to be able to do these curvy roads, but the arc roads just seem to be a little more easier to navigate. All right, so that's that. That goes over there. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll I'll do something like that. And that road just kind of dies. Uh, yeah, that road just kind of dies. So there's that. Now let's put these guys deep off over here so no one will smell what's cooking. And that'll take care of itself. So now that that's working, everyone should almost be happy. Yes. And we're almost up to 5,000 residences uh, in our city. So let's see. Yeah, all this stuff is going away. What's happening here? Can't find enough places to ship freight. There's our next problem. People are going to be looking for some commercial zones. And what I think I'll do is make the commercial zone this area here. Make it a wide open commercial zone for them. Now, obviously, I could need to complete this type of area and stuff, but uh, we'll get to that. Let's go ahead and let this just kind of die out over here somewhere. Just like that. So there's that. And we may even let that be commercial as well.
and this will be more residential. Oops. Okay, then I got this, oops, I got this road here, which we'll kind of just figure out what that will do next time. I think that's just going to start creating our industrial zone and introduce that whole thing. It'll probably do some sort of curve along some sort of arc like this. Something like that, I'm thinking. Yep. So there's that. And we'll figure out what to do with oops. We'll figure out what to do with this whole area here, how we're gonna close this up and make it look nice in the next episode. So right now let's look at it. Looks like we have a fire down here. There's a problem. We'll address it later. Uh plenty of roads need to be upgraded. People need places to ship stuff. There's a lot of things that are going to happen in this next upcoming episode, but we've got it all set up, and I hope that you'll tune in for the next episode of Build It With Smith playing SimCity PC. Now, for the folks that stuck around, uh, I am working on the next SimCity Build It series, like I said in the last video. Uh, actually, maybe it'll already be out by now, uh, so cancel that. Uh, yeah, cancel that. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, peace.